Hi, my name is Jenna Ortega and I play Wednesday and Wednesday. I got to wear some unbelievable costumes designed by the incredible Colleen Atwood. Here are my top five Wednesday looks. Number five, stakeout look. I really like this one. I'm actually really, really bummed that it only exists in one scene. It's this nice leather jacket and Wednesday and Eugene are about to go out into the woods to hunt the monster. When establishing new looks on the show, I didn't always have the time to have fittings because I would be filming. I remember we all put it on and it was something that they had put together and hadn't really anticipated as one of the main looks. But we all looked in the mirror and just went, <sighs> because it should have been more important. Number four, my fencing costume. I love fencing. I thought it was so much fun. I had never done it before and um, you know, the sequence that we do, it, we spend all day on it. It was a lot of fun. I, I love any time that I get to do stunts, but also I appreciated the fact that her fencing costume was all black. My Romanian coach was not too pleased. He's a stickler, he likes tradition. So I didn't tell him that I liked it, but this is my coming clean story. Women have to wear discs over their chest, so that kind of moves around a bit. Going to the bathroom took 20 minutes. Number three, the dance dress. It was really cool when we found this dance dress. We weren't even on the episode yet, but I think that the costume designer was just really excited to start putting dance looks together. We really didn't consider any other dress. I think that it made a lot of sense. I like that it looked a little bit torn, and the way that it moves, it's very light and airy, and it kind of stays three seconds behind almost. I thought it was really beautiful, and, and for Wednesday to be into another dress, I, I knew that it had to it'd be weird in some way. And I also liked the, that it had a, kind of a classic silhouette, because I think a lot of the silhouettes for this show were 50s, 60s, Interrogator, almost Sherlock Holmes-esque. You know, with the fringe and everything, it, it felt very 50s, the, the cutout, and, and very feminine. It also was very cool that there was still a collar incorporated. It was a lot better than the outfits that I wore to school dances when I was younger. Number two is gonna be the OG dress. It was so cool for me. I, I think that the first time I, I put on the original dress, it, it felt it felt like Wednesday, and that was kind of my first experience with her. I feel like I have some sort of emotional attachment her connection with that dress. It was the first time that Wednesday and I met, and you know, it's obviously iconic. I don't know, I felt very, very lucky to wear it, and I was always so excited when we did some sort of promo shoot or, or anything like that, just to put the dress back on again. I wasn't really allowed to wear it the rest of the show. I had to be in uniform. We pretty much already knew what the original dress was gonna be, but in the 90s films, the one that it was inspired off of, it looks like roses on Christina Ricci's dress, but it's actually little squiggly lines, but on this one, it was roses. Something that was actually tricky though was the collar. There's so many variations of white collars. We had put one on, that's way too big. That's too white. It was one of those things that you didn't think that it was gonna be as complicated as it was. Number one, I think, is going to be the cat suit from episode two, the poke up. Enid and Wednesday are on a canoeing team. They're called the black cats. All of the black cats have whiskers and ears and in the stitched up suit. To me, it kind of reminded me of Edward Scissorhands in a sense because a lot of the material looked leather-like and it was patchwork. I liked Enid's too because she had pink stitching instead of white stitching like everyone else. That was really cool. And I think I just have good memories attached to that outfit as well just because it was really fun getting to work with everyone and, and doing another stun and being out in the water. It was fall in Romania, so the weather was beautiful and it felt like we were at summer camp. The only thing that kind of sucked about it was just we had to wear a wetsuit underneath it. So I don't know, I'm really weird about materials sometimes. Something that was actually great about it was that there seemed to be a hole in the crotch area. We needed that because initially we couldn't pee. And we actually had a thing, we all had to go to wardrobe collectively, me, Emma, and the stunt doubles, and say, this is a really cool outfit. We have had to take a piss all day. So then the next day they, they put the holes in and try to make it a bit easier. I think costumes are a really, really important part of filmmaking and, and acting even. I feel when, when costumes are done right, they instantly make you feel like the character and it's, it's easier to do your job, I think, honestly. Or you're more confident in what you're going out and doing. And obviously Colleen Atwood being the, the legend that she is, uh, she does incredible work. It's, it's like witchcraft. She adds three buttons to something and it gets that much greater. We also worked heavily with Mark Sutherland um, and they've worked together for years. And Mark as well was just a sweetheart and, and really receptive to what everyone had to say. And they made sure your voice was heard and, and that everyone was on the same page. That's just one part of how stylish this show is. Check out Wednesday. It's now streaming only on Netflix. Dive deeper into the Netflix shows and films you love on todoom.com.